Hey Dumblings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about Jungkook getting hate over something that was posted and also involving Jungkook's brother and Lisa from Blackpink. I also want to get into Blackpink and their comeback. There's been a lot of anger towards when it will be. But before we get into that, we have a word from today's sponsor. So let's roll that clip. I am so excited to announce today's sponsor, Albert. Albert has a completely different type of banking account you've ever used, which is why I was so excited to introduce them to you. I know money is boring, but it's important. Please listen. First off, it's free to sign up. And instead of having a traditional savings account where we forget to put our money into it and you realize you forgot to save, Albert looks for little bits of money they can add into your savings account. You also have a ridiculous amount of cash back, like 5 to 20% when using their cards for McDonald's or Starbucks, etc. And unlike traditional banks, there are never overdraft fees. And the most exciting thing, if you're in a pinch situation, Albert will upfront you up to $250 and you just have to pay it back interest free. So if you're at a gas station and you have no money, their app is very easy to use and there are no additional fees for not having enough money in there or maintenance fees. They also offer a feature called Genius to help you manage your money. And it's basically a team of experts that will look over everything and help you with any questions you have. Just click the link in the description box to download the Albert app today. For a limited time, when you open a checking account and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150. Make sure you check them out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. So hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into was Jungkook's brother. And I need to give a bunch of backstory that you may or may not know, so bear with me. We'll get to it. Just join me on the journey. If you didn't know, Jungkook has a brother. They all have siblings. And I say, I think, because last time I said this, there's people who told me that some of the quote unquote sibling pictures are photoshopped and not real, and others that have said that they are. And the members haven't individually spoken about the siblings, so it's kind of still up in the air. But allegedly, none of them are only child. But Jungkook's brother is an entrepreneur, and I first found out about him when there was this controversy involving Jungkook and backdoor advertising. So if you don't know this issue, let me quickly recap. Jungkook had part ownership or was high up within his brother's company. They go by the graffiti on the mind and I think they were rebranded from the name 66YUS. I'm not entirely sure about that. But Jungkook was wearing one of the clothes that the company sells. And the issue was that he never disclosed that he was wearing his brother's brand. And there was a bunch of controversy saying he was violating the law and he eventually stepped down. But it was clarified by the government agency, the FTC, that he did not violate anything and simply wearing clothes without disclosing is not the same as violating advertising laws because he wasn't promoting the brand, he was just wearing their clothes. If we decide to look up the brand and buy it because he is wearing it, that is not his fault. Even though he was right, Jungkook likely stepped down due to the controversy and to avoid future ones. And this is an important note for later. So it was recently posted by Dispatch, who is a very famous popular Korean news site. They have their annual tradition of exposing K-pop idols who are dating and the brand got famous for this even though they are known for so much other stuff. One of the big ones is their magazine branch and so recently Lisa did a photo shoot with them and it became a bit controversial when people noticed that Lisa's sweater was something interesting. It was from the brand Graffiti on the Mind and people were then associating the fact that Lisa posed in this sweater. She must have had some sort of relationship with Jungkook and especially Jungkook's brother. People were attacking each other for even suggesting this, but also asking for those posts to be deleted because it makes it seem like Lisa is dating Jungkook, even though Jungkook has stepped down from his brother's clothing company. I get so upset when I see tweets like delete this post or whatever. And it's like, no, let people post whatever they want to post. And if you don't like them, then block them. You can say whatever you want on the internet as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. And even if the two were actually dating, this isn't like the world is going to end. The internet might explode, but after a week, the internet will come back together and both of their careers will be fine. They're both such big artists that neither label would drop the members over dating. Initially when I saw the tweets and the photos of Lisa and the sweater and didn't know this was a magazine page, I thought maybe Jungkook's brother's company paid Lisa to wear it or something like that. But upon looking into it further, I don't even think the company knows that Lisa wore it before the magazine was posted. Just by conspiracy. Magazine photo shoots, the clothing in the shoots is sometimes sponsored by a specific 
brand and the idols are usually going there to model the clothes or sometimes just model for the magazine and not necessarily know what clothes they're modeling until they get on set. Agents or managers don't often tell the idols what's going to happen. They just tell you where you need to be and then the clothes are just given to them on set to wear. I don't know if this is 100% the case, but it seems like it was to me. But also, even if Lisa wore Jungkook's brother's brand on purpose, this does not mean that there is this relationship between the two idols. It simply means that she likes the clothes or that Jungkook and Lisa are just friends, which would be something amazing. I really think that they are, but sometimes the fandom doesn't even want BTS or Blackpink to interact at all. Both Lisa and Jungkook were getting some hate over this, and Jungkook isn't even really involved in this, just his brother. Whatever direction his brother decides to take with his clothing brand has nothing to do with Jungkook at all. Jungkook's brother can literally hire all of Blackpink to wear his clothes, and that doesn't mean that Jungkook is even friends or even associated with Blackpink members. Regardless of what is happening, I hope it doesn't cause a huge problem. I think it's wonderful that Lisa likes the clothes, and I think it's wonderful that the brand liked Lisa to do this promotion with her. Since Blackpink never has a comeback and they're always delayed, it's nice to see them do this sort of stuff since we're not getting music. Now, this is alleged because apparently an insider from the industry shared some information on what the plans were for the big four labels in Korea. So SM, YG, HYBE, and JYP. Now, it's not someone who works for all those labels as that would be impossible, but it's from financial analysts. So people would like to know when the comeback will be, but often when a comeback happens, the stock goes up. So the public wants to know what the plans are in order to make proper investments. But apparently it was leaked that the first half of YG's plan for the year will include promoting their boy group, Treasure. And then in the later half, they will promote a new girl group. And then I guess after the first half of the year, Blackpink will make a comeback. I do believe they are just predictions that ended up being incorrect because it was announced recently that Treasure will actually be making their comeback in February, not in May, like what the schedule said. Keep in mind when you see financial people putting out schedules and predictions and stuff like that, they are not correct. They are just predictions or sometimes even completely made up with the small evidence that the analysts gather from the news, basically. I know when you hear financial people, we think it's so official, but if there is someone on the inside that has all this information, they're not allowed to leak or use that information if it affects the stock or affects how people will buy their stock. If you know inside information and then use that information to buy stocks, that's insider trading and that's illegal. But fans then took to Twitter to try and stop delaying Blackpink or Blackpink comeback now. This is no doubt a sensitive subject for Blinks because the majority of their career in the beginning, like years, they had one comeback a year, if that, and they didn't have many songs at all. It was so weird because every time they did have a song, it would blow up and they'd make so much money, but they didn't get the opportunity to do more comebacks. We are all so lucky that recently we have had so much Blackpink content and get to see the girls even do more individual solo stuff. However, because people thought Blackpink was delaying their comeback, they were asking YG to treat Blackpink better and all that stuff. As I said before, I think a lot of people jump to conclusions. My theory is that Blackpink will have a comeback this year and possibly even after Treasure's comeback. Since the predictions were incorrect, we can assume Blackpink may have a sooner comeback than what was said. Please don't just believe every chart or anything like that that is said. Don't even just believe me. I was annoyed a few weeks ago when people were telling me that financial analysts already confirmed when BTS will go to the military. They can predict, they can't confirm. Anything these analysts say are not fact. They just take the same data and news that we all know and try to predict what the trends are going to be with the agency stock. Since these companies are public, there are going to be a ton of financial analysts that will send their predictions so they can predict when will be the best time to buy stock. But buying stock is always risky for this reason of the fact that we can't predict the future or what the company's actual plan is. So they are not 100% accurate unless they come from the company directly. Always wait for a company statement. Let me know what you think and if you want to see more reaction videos, go to my Patreon link down below. I can't post them here due to copyright, but you can get all sorts of reaction videos and requests over there. It's a great way to support the channel even more if you would like to do that. Thank you so much for this lovely comment right here. I love you so much. There'll be two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. Click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.